the best piece of fiction to ever come out in the last decade attack on titan whether you are an anime fan or a manga reader you have to admit that attack on titan is one of the greatest animes of all time but what does anime have to do with apex legends most apex legends players are anime slash manga fans including myself i always call world's edge the attack on titan of apex a map that can be made only once and only once and never be recreated because it's a masterpiece everyone in the apex legends community loves world's edge just how everyone in the anime community loves attack on titan i think making a comparison between attack on Titan and World's Edge is a good comparison, but they have their strengths and weaknesses. Yes, this is a why everybody plays with it with a twist on it. This is a why everybody loves World's Edge, but I'll be doing it from an anime perspective. The first thing that Apex players love about World's Edge is Fragment. Fragment is located at the center of the map and is a centralized area where most people go to fight or to find fights. World's Edge is the home of sweat and the home of chaos. I call Fragment the Shigan Sheena of World's Edge, where there is only chaos and never any peace since they destroyed it. World's Edge also has its very own basement, i.e. streamer building, where everyone wants to be, because that's where all the sweats land to get high kills and high damage games. You go to Fragment to either kill everyone or you just die like the scouts in season 3. Rip Irwin. But this is what mostly what casual players love about World's Edge is just the fact that there's a central location on the map that has consistent action all the time. It might not have the best loot nor places for a three quarter of the lobby that lands there, but you can't deny that Fragment is the place to go if you want action in Apex. It also provides a consistent fighting experience and teaches you how to actually take fights in Apex regardless of you dying 5 million times to a random third party or that one wraith super zip and jumping everywhere. The second thing that players love about World's Edge is that it has had an even amount of choke points. Unlike other maps where once you get held at a shield, unlike other maps where once you get held at a choke point, it's over for you and your teammate. Just because you didn't rotate early, there's always a way to get to the next zone regardless of the situation. You just have to be creative. Try to run through a storm or you can just fall out away. And what I like to do is just ego challenge everyone who tried to gatekeep me and just die. But compared to other maps, specifically King's Canyon, there's a lot less choke points on World's Edge and allows you to rotate freely throughout the map, which is another advantage of World's Edge. And it doesn't have to be a cursed rotation spot, whereas if you rotate through that one location, you just know you're going to die. It's like going to Thrust. You think you're the main character until a titan tries to eat your best friend and know you're dead. It's like that one spot on King's Canyon where there's a respawn beacon and you can go to bunker from that location if you go there late game you are going to die no questions asked but on world's edge there's a less likely chance that you will enter into a cursed rotation spot because there are a lot of different points to rotate to go towards zone the third thing the community loves about world's edge is that it has an even amount of high ground and low ground just like the separate districts in attack on titan wait a minute do you guys actually remember the different districts on paradise or do we all just remember the old name of the walls rose maria and sia there's a clear difference between the north side of the map and the south side there are even amount of high ground and low ground on the map even on the west side and east sides of the map there isn't a guaranteed high spot on the map though that will guarantee you a win or the opportunity to get keep teams because there's always a chance of the soul moving back to the low ground and you on the high ground are forced to leave that spot and now you are in a panic to try and get the zone there is no god spot all on high because soil's edge zones don't normally end on height like that it always shifts to low ground so even if there is a chance chance that he shifts the high ground there still isn't a guarantee that you win so there is always an even amount of high ground and low ground to play regardless of the situation just like attack on titan world's edge is a masterpiece that can never be replicated even by creators of the map it's unique in its own right and is loved by the community there will never be another map like world's edge